So the subject for today is box lunch and the fall bags that they have in stock right now. And looking online, I noticed that they had some new merch um, that just goes perfectly well with the Halloween season and the fall season slash the fall season. And I decided to go by there and get myself, well, first of all, to look and see if I liked it. And if I liked what I saw, then definitely, yes, I was going to get those bags to add to my collection. Hi guys, if you're new here, I'm Devani and welcome to the channel Disney and Devani where we discuss and talk all things that has to do with Disney. And if that is something that you're interested in, then you're going to love this video today. So let's go ahead and get started. You wish upon a star makes no difference who you so I went by box lunch just to take a look at these bags um, because what I am looking for, I don't know if you can tell, I did finish um, the background here. I'm not quite finished with the background over there. Um, that's going to be another video because when I show you the, the entire setup over on that side, it is going to be nothing but villains. Right now here, this side is going to be fall, you know, very Mickey, mini, um, that type of a vibe. So in a minute, I'm gonna move so you can take a look um, and see what I have done behind me. And this is going to be the look for the entire season until Halloween is over. Um, and maybe, I don't know, we'll see if I take it into um, Thanksgiving season. We don't know, we'll see. So let me go ahead and uh, move out the way so you guys can see what I have done. And um, the bags today that I'm going to show you, they're going to be set up here. And that was the reason why I needed um, the aesthetic of these bags that you're going to see and whether they were worth it for me. So I moved out of the way so you can see exactly what um, I have done. I did put some crates here. And um, in each of these nooks, I am going to fill it with um, a lounge fly, a backpack. And over here as well, I'm going to put some here and then some here. Uh, so it was kind of important for me to find um, the proper bags so that I can have them on display. So for today, I have three bags that I want to share with you. A book that I picked up from um, Cracker Barrel and then a pin that I was gifted by um, none other than Box Lunch. And I'll tell you a little bit about that in a second. But first up, I'm going to pull this bag so you can see this adorable adorable bag that i got for today so the bag definitely is from box lunch and um because i went to the store to pick it up it did not come packaged it just came um matter of fact they gave me one of the displays they had like several up on the shelves and so she just took one down and just gave me one that was there so um this is uh the first one that i did get for today and um it is none other than this adorable fall bag and um, if you take a look up close it has all the scenery of the leaves and you see mickey and you see a barrel with pumpkins i mean it's just perfect for the season you know how they have like scarecrows and they have pumpkins out and they have all the different colors of orange hues well this bag pretty much depicts all that um, and then look at this, the zipper pull is a leaf. And I love the black contrast with the leaves. It's just like perfect for like the fall season. And then look at this signature plaque, which is so gorgeous. It has like a black lining and brown plaque that says Disney, lounge fly. Um, and then of course it's black trim all around with gold hardware. It definitely has pockets here with a little bit of mustard, like a mustard color trim right here. And again, you see Mickey all around. And I love the placement. Look, you have Mickey, 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 Mickey. I mean, I don't know if there's a thing with the display, with the placements on these bags, like how they have with the ones for the parks that are all over prints. But definitely, I do see a lot of Mickeys. And at one point I thought maybe it might be mini with Mickey, but it's just Mickey. And of course, there's another side pocket here. And on the back, there's really nothing. It just continues on. And again, look how much, look at the all over print. It's pretty much everywhere. And then the straps are black padded and the extenders are, it looks like an ombre. It's like an ombre yellow and like a burnt orange ombre. So the very pretty bag. And let me go ahead and look at the inside pocket here. It has a front pocket. 
and this is pretty much it continues on that way and then over here this is a different print let me see it's pretty much the same print but it's the background instead of it being black it is like a tan color so this is a really nice bag and I am loving it because it's going to go wonderfully on my display in back of me. And that's what you guys are going to see throughout the entire season. So um, let me go ahead and look at the inside of it. It does have an inner pocket. Look at that. It does have an inner pocket right there. Inside. And it's all over print. Like I said, instead of it being black, it is a tan color and it's the same Mickey as a scarecrow. He looks like he's a farmer or... No, he's actually a scarecrow. Um, and it's an all over print. So this is a really pretty bag. So you can see why I wanted it for the aesthetic. So in a minute, I'm going to put it behind me so that you guys can see where I'm going to place it. And you get to see it all season long. So for now, what I did was I went ahead and put this bag here. I might switch it around, but this is where I'm going to keep it for now um, so that it has the aesthetic look and you guys can see the fall season behind me. So that one is, that's where I put it for today. So um, I'll play around with it to see if I'm going to keep it there, if I'm not. Um, so for now, it looks really good on the shelf right here. Next bag from Box Lunch is, again, I didn't get it on the same day. I did get it the day before I got this one. Um, and when I went there and I saw, first I saw this one and I wanted this one. And then as I was there, I saw that one and I said, you know, they kind of go together and it is so cute. So that's where I decided, let me go ahead and just get both of them. Um, not to, not at all the same day, but different days. And, um, it is none other than Mickey as a scarecrow and isn't he just darling look at this he reminds me of the scarecrow from um the wizard of oz i don't know if you remember that movie if any of us grew up with that movie i did so um he does remind me of that scarecrow look at his little hat with some straws and it's like a nice burnt um it's like a burnt orange and it's felt and then of course it's got um green lining with some straw at the top it's so cute and it's almost like an applique but it's um it is an applique but it's more of like a felt um applique and then his little face his nose is an applique and then look at his little jumper in the front how adorable he's got even a little rope here but that's also an applique and his little straws are like little frills look at that so cute oh this this bag is adorable and then his little jumper outfit is like a um it's not corduroy but it is textured it's a textured type of a uh, material and it is material so let me see if i can bring it up close so you can see there it is it's not corduroy but it is um it is um cloth it's a nice cloth material and of course it's um black and of course the green and then you see the uh, mustard uh, lining here. It's got gold hardware through and through. And of course, it's um, the zipper pull is also a leaf. So I just checked and the zipper pull on that bag is the exact same zipper pull on this one. So I think they're meant to be paired together. Um, even though it's funny because I thought it was so strange. I thought that you would see Minnie on that bag coupled together with Mickey, but no, she's nowhere to be found on that bag. But um, all around, it is that cloth material, and on the back, you see him. Let me move this out of the way. Look at him. Oh, he is just adorable, and it's Mickey, and what is that? Oh, it's a crow. It's a crow pecking at his head. This is an adorable bag. So it's got side pockets here, side pockets here, and it's the same um, brown plaque, except the trimming around it is green to match his little jumper. So cute. So let's take a look at the, the front pocket and see what that looks like on the inside. So it's a cute. It's almost identical to the other one. This side is just more material, but then this side, you see it's like beige. It's not exactly um, it does have a little bit of a darker hue to it, but it's pretty much Mickey all over print again. So instead of it being black like the um, 
black background as that bag. It's beige again, but this beige is a little bit darker than that beige on that pocket. I took out the stuffing and um, it's the same as that other bag, the all over print beige, and it definitely has an inside zipper pocket right there. This is an adorable bag. And now you can see why I kind of wanted it to go with my background. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you a 360. Look at that front again. I just have to show you that one more time. Okay. Oh. Tell me this is not the cutest little bag. So I'm gonna put him on display now. Okay, so I went ahead and I placed him right here. So this is going to be his spot. And so far, I think I'm liking the aesthetic of the two of them on here. It does um, complement the scenery with the leaves and the, um, the haze. Well, I don't have hay, but he has hay. Um, but you know what I mean, like with the pumpkin in the background and my little pumpkins here and then the Donald sipper cup right here. So it kind of goes with that rustic look. And then of course the crates, um, it just all ties in together. So the next item that I wanna show you that while I was there, the girl, um, for whatever reason, uh, it was the last one. And <clears throat> I guess because the backer card was a little bit bent, she went ahead and gave this to me for half off. So instead of it being 1090, this pin, she gave it to me for 450. And look at that. It is Mickey and Minnie Halloween pin. How cute is that with the moon? in the background We're actually flying on a broom and there's a little bit of shimmer you see the moon hold on a second you see the moon you see them flying on the broom that's uh minnie and mickey and then the ear the ears are bats if i bring it up close it seems to like take the camera out of focus but you can see that so today must have been my day because to get this pin for 450 was not bad at all um and also i forgot my ears they're from Box Lunch as well. They had, um, what was it like a like a little bowl with like all these ears in there? And I looked at it and I go, oh, these are adorable. They're like bat wings. So I asked Michael, since when does Box Lunch have, um, you know, Mickey ears? And she says, seasonally, sometimes they bring them out. So I did get them. I don't remember how much I paid for it, but aren't they adorable? And they're all black and it's a matte color. And you see the bow. And it's really soft. It's not heavy on the head at all. And um, it doesn't squeeze the head at all. And so that's what I like about it. I'm just like, these are really, really nice. So yes, I did get ears as well. And the next item that I wanna show you um, is from a restaurant called Cracker Barrel here in Florida. Um, I only found out about Cracker Barrel from a couple ladies that every now and again, sometimes we would go out for um, lunch or dinner and I've never heard of the restaurant before, um, but it's a cute restaurant and they have a gift shop. And in their gift shop, they sell all kinds of things from like the Grinch to some Disney items. Um, trinkets you can you know you can just imagine they sell there and I found this book um, hidden away and it was the a villains in a portrait of evil look at this book it's a storybook and it's nothing but the villains and what I love about this book uh, when I opened it up it kind of reminded me a little bit of a pop-up book it doesn't have much pop-ups but it does have a couple little surprising effects inside of it is this side of my room is going to be a good amount of these villains not all of them but um it is going to have displays of some of these villains that are going to be in here and i'm going to show you a couple pages of them so the very first one up is a story about the queen the evil queen and it's just all of them are just pretty much one page it's a quick depiction of the story and like i said it kind of remind me of a pop-up because here you see her cape opens up and you see the hag here you see the mirror and I guess that's her lair or wherever the cave that she's in concoction all of her potions. Um, and so like I said, it's really adorable. And this is a story of the queen. And the next one is of Maleficent and hers doesn't have anything uh, pop up -y. but it is a story about her. It's like her origin. It tells a quick little origin about her. Then the next page is Jafar and the Cave of Wonders. And it tells you a little bit about him. 
Um, so it's a really cute storytelling book. And then the next one is Ursula. These are really cute. See, not all of them have too much of the pop-up elements. And then this one is Dr. Facilier, and his definitely does the cards. The cards, the cards. The cards, the cards, the cards will tell. The past, the present, and the future as well. Look at that, and then here you see his business card, and then you see his cards here. So, um, and then there's more, and there's more, but I'm not gonna go through each of them. Um, but the next one after this is the Queen of Hearts. It was 1999. And I thought it was just so perfect for the uh, the this, this season. So I'm going to show you the last bag. Um, I had already taken it out of the box only because there's so many boxes that are accumulating here in the room. So what I've been trying to do is take the, the actual items out and throw away the boxes so that they don't accumulate. But I don't remember what store I got this from. From. I want to say Loungefly or I think or it could be World 1 1 I don't remember um, and I'm usually good about putting the receipt on the back so that I know where it came from I want to say World 1 1 I will um, research before I put up this video and let you know for sure if it's not World 1 1 but but I have to get this bag again this is gonna go with my villain section over here and um, a little bit of a backstory. I love um, Jack Skellington and Sally, and um, I do have one bag of Jack Skellington, um, which was last year's edition of him holding his skull head in his hand, but that's all I have of him. Um, so I also wanted one of Sally, but then I said, you know what? Um, sometimes like it's a lot to get two bags, his and hers and hers and his. It's just a lot because I already have a lot of bags. So um, I decided to get a collage of the two of them. And then they had this one that I liked. And I'm going to put a picture of it up so you can see. The one that I was going to get. And then this little beauty showed up on the website. And I was like, I prefer to get this one as opposed to that other one. And it is Jack and Sally in dapper format. How adorable, look at that. She's got her little hat and he's got his hat on, his top hat. And hers, she's giving me um, Kentucky Derby vibes. Look at that, how cute. Look at that, it's like fishnet. So yeah, so instead of getting two bags, I just decided to get one that has the both of them. And then of course you see Zero here and it's a beautiful applique of him. His is at the top actually. And I'm gonna have to work on that because the hat keeps bending back. So it's a it's um, vegan leather and it's black with purple. And the um, the hardware is just silver. It's not gunmetal, it's just silver. And um, again, it's got zero and it's black and purple, which I love. And uh, there's the plaque that says, it says the nightmare before Christmas. Disney, the nightmare before Christmas. And it does have a side pocket here, side pocket here on this side as well. There is nothing on the back. It just says hauntingly dapper. So they are like Dapper Dan. Look at that. Oh, this is an adorable bag. I was like, I have to get it. And when I show you that side of the room, you'll see why I decided to go with this one. Um, and that's the inside of it. Look, it's got some more of the pinstripe there. It's just portraits and silhouettes of him. You see Sally and of Zero right here. And it does have an inside pocket, an inner pocket, zip pocket right there. So once more, I'm just gonna do a 360 so you can see. And there is Sally with her red hair her dress and then you see him with his um, tuxedo on and of course his uh, top hat with the bat right there and I just thought this was so adorable so between this and the other one which I love the other one as well I just decided to go with this one a little bit more only because it had this little bit of embellishment on it and it just looks so, I don't know, so dapper. So you guys, that is the haul for today. And the question of the day was, 
box lunch. Are these fall bags worth it? And um, I will have to say, yes, they were, and yes, they are, and yes, I'm happy um, with the purchase. I'm happy with um, the two that I got and with the Jack and Sally. I am very happy with them. So they are definitely worth it. If you can go to box ones before they run out, if that's something that you like, if this is the aesthetic that you like, or you want it in your background, I would definitely go ahead and get it. So definitely worth the price. So that is everything for today, guys. Let me know which one was your favorite, if you had a favorite. Did you like the pin? What do you think of these ears? <laughs> a lot of questions 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 um did you like mickey i love mickey i am a mickey girl so i love anything first and foremost mickey <laughs> everything else secondary well poo comes second then stitch well i can't go on down that that line that lane but okay guys that is everything for today that's the haul that i had it definitely was worth it um leave me a comment below subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber and hit that bell for notifications so you are the first one to be notified when i upload another video um until the next time take care and enjoy the rest of your week bye